In this video, I am going to show you how to do the setting of your Canon Pixima TS3750i all-in-one printer. Let's start the setup process. First, we will connect this printer with the power cable that goes at the back of the printer. At the back of the printer, plug in the power cable. So that goes here. Go to the printer display panel. Press the power button. To install the ink cartridges, first we have to open this chamber. So press this door down. You will see these two sections. Press it down. This blue lock should be pressed down. This will unlock the print heads. Now take the print heads out of the plastic packaging. Remove this protective shield. Take the second ink cartridge, remove the orange seal, place color on the color side that goes here. So just place it here and just push it in. So automatically it will settle in its position. Once it is settled, push this lock up, it will close this print head same with the black let it go in once it is there then push this lock up now close the ink chamber door next step is to load the paper open this lid To load the paper, move this on one side. Place letter size or A4 size paper. Make sure you adjust the size properly. Go to the screen. On the screen, press OK to confirm. We have done the initial setup of this printer. Let's do a copy test. Open the lid. I'm just going to print this test page. I'm going to print this test page. Place it here. You can press black or color and it will start the printing. So it might take few minutes because this is the initial setup and it's going to print for the first time. Paper output tray is at the bottom. You can slide it. So that's the first print. So ink cartridges still need to be activated so it will take few prints to print it properly let's do the wireless setup of the printer for that we have to use our smartphone macbook or laptop so let's start with the smartphone on the smartphone you can download the canon print app you can download it from the App Store. In the App section, click on the Add Switch. Click on the Register Printer. Select the option if printer cannot be found. On the next screen, it will ask you is your printer listed below. Click No. On the next screen, select the first option, Auto Connection, recommended. Does your printer have a button like this? Yes, we have. Click Yes. Go to the printer display panel and we have to press and hold that button. Press and hold that button that is with the two overlapping circles. Press and hold it for three seconds and then release it. You will see the wireless signal and line will start to flash 
and the soon two lines will start to flash that means printer is ready for the setup go to your smartphone select confirm and click next press ok this is the wireless setup if you have a home wi-fi network it will join with that first join the printer with your smartphone click on the join TS3700 series that is the series of the printer if you don't have a Wi-Fi network even then it will connect with the printer's Wi-Fi automatically it will detect that it's asking to connect with the SSID that is our wireless network click yes the whole process may take few minutes it depends on the speed of the wireless network if your router is nearby then your printer will connect faster once your printer is connected with the Wi-Fi it will display zero and the wireless signal on the printer control panel on this screen it displays some information close it it will ask you to choose your favorite photos and start printing where well, I know close this window you will see Canon TS3700 series it says online and we are ready for the wireless printing and scanning for printing we can simply click a document to print you can print anything now click on the next click no if you want to change some settings you can change the settings on this screen and then click on the print icon and press ok so we have already loaded the paper slide the paper tray out so you can see the printer is quick in its printing it just depends on the speed of the internet if the signal is strong it will quickly start to print for some reason the setup in cartridges are really very low in the ink so I might need to replace them quickly because it's not printing anything on that so sometimes that happens if the printer is sitting in the box from a long time and when you start the setup process maybe the ink is low so replacing the ink cartridge will definitely work so let's do the scanning printing job is done press ok close these windows open the lid and place a page you want to scan for example I'll just scan this test print page and if we click on the scan icon we can change some settings we can select if it's a document or if it's a photo and then we can go back and click on the scan icon So that is here so I'm just going to click on the exit on the next page it will ask you to click here and then you can save it as a JPEG or use as a PDF on the next screen we can just click on the save to files we can type a name for it so that is the test page and then click on the save icon click on the cross button we can close this window so you have all the functions in the app you can see you have the option to print photos scanning smartphone copy cloud so there are so many options for more setups of the printer you can click on the printer icon on the top it will take you to the next page where it will display the estimated level of ink in printer information utilities and manual in the utilities you can just click on the easy authentication press and hold this button for three seconds again so that's the circle button with the overlapping 
and then release it automatically the printer will connect with the smartphone for the utility setup so you just have to wait on this page to open now we can do the cleaning deep cleaning print head alignment alignment value roller cleaning bottom plate cleaning so there are so many options so right now I think my ink cartridges are dry they are not printing so I can do little bit cleaning to see if it works properly so click yes in case that doesn't work then I'm just going to place the regular ink cartridges because the setup ink cartridges are always with very low ink I think it should be a quick process so it was just a journal cleaning let's print the nozzle check sheet we can also do the deep cleaning but that will waste a lot of ink but in case it's not printing I think doing the deep cleaning is also good so we can clearly see some of the patterns are printed properly but a lot of ink is missing so I can click on the also V it displays nozzle is cloaked do you want to start cleaning so right now I'm just going to click on the no and in case you have any problem like that you can just buy the new ink cartridges and you can just start using it so that's the way we can do the setup of this printer and then we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning thanks for watching